Hi, I'm Dave from Fire Station Outfitters, and I want to show you today how to replace one side of a mechanism while it's still in the chair on a rocker recliner. All you need to do that is a drill driver, uh, an extension with a socket, a number 11 socket, and a 5 16 inch socket. First thing I want to do is take out the screws that hold the ottoman in. And don't, make, don't mix your screws up. When those are loose, we want to take out the drive line. These are self-tapping screws, so don't get these mixed up with the other screws. And to remove this drive line, just carefully pull it through the hole. And then take off the spring. This is the lock spring. And then I'm going to take out the three screws that hold the mechanism to the frame. There's one there. There's one there, and there's one there. The first two are number 11. Remember, don't get them mixed up because these are not self-tapping screws. And this last one is the 5 6, six sixteenth inch screw. There are two screws that hold the mechanism to the base. When you remove these two screws, Note which hole those screws are placed in. If you're not sure when you put it back on, you can always look at the other side. And I usually just leave them right in place. Once those two screws are loose, this mechanism comes right out. Typically what happens is the stop roller on the back gets bent, which makes that chair lean from one side to the other. So I'm gonna replace this side with the brand new side. To do that, take our mechanism, put it back in place. I'm gonna put those two screws back on the base. Remember, if you're not sure, just look at the other side to see where they go. And I'll tighten those down. Word of caution now, they have to be in the same holes that they came out of previously. Okay. I'm gonna put the screws back on the frame. After your screws are in place, we'll replace the ottoman. These can be a little bit tricky, but don't over tighten them when you put them back in. drive rod back in. The drive rod goes with the handle facing the back with the footrest extended and through this linkage all the way through and don't forget these are self-tapping screws Last thing you want to do is replace the lock spring. There's an anchor bolt bottom and an oblong bolt on top. Just like that. When we get done, we're back in business.